Well, hello and welcome to this edition of the EV Revolution Show. My name is Kenneth McCoy, your host. Thanks for tuning in for this quick review update of a 2024 Cadillac Lyric. This is the Sport 3 model. I want to thank Cadillac Canada and GM Canada for allowing me the use of this vehicle for a few days. Uh, this is a quick follow-up episode. So if you go back to episode 178, which was July of 2022, almost two years ago, when I went down to Utah, uh, courtesy of GM and Cadillac, for a first drive event of the Cadillac Lyric when it came out. It was the launch edition gray one. And it, it's a very detailed review. In fact, even the description of the show says one of the most detailed reviews you'll find. So I would encourage you to watch that if you want all the excruciating details on this vehicle. This episode is going to be just focused on an update because it's been, like I said, almost two years since I drove the Lyric. And I only drove it for, you know, a day, day and a half. And it was on and off. It wasn't all the time. We partnered and then I had a couple hours on my own. So to get a good feel for the vehicle. And I was very, very impressed with it at that time. So sit back, relax, and I hope you enjoy this update. Now, when we look at the Lyric, obviously the design is something that we haven't seen before prior to it coming out. And Cadillac is very proud of that. You've seen some of their newer models now, the um, uh, Celeste uh, that's come out, their new one that they just announced, uh, even the Escalade IQ, all has that Cadillac design. And all of it has the DNA, a lot of the design DNA in this vehicle, the Lyric, which is their first all electric offering from, from Cadillac. Now, they were off to a slow start with this vehicle, right? They struggled in 2022 and into 2023 to kind of get production going with this. And I can uh, say very delightfully that now production has ramped up. These are built in Spring Hill, Tennessee uh, in the United States, and they've now been able to start ramping up production. To date, since 2022 and almost two years, they've sold about 17,000 or so of these in North America. Now there's also a Chinese version being built for that market, which looks exactly the same that's being delivered out there. And I don't know the numbers, but I'm sure it's fairly, uh, fairly good as well because that's a very well-liked vehicle out there. But the Lyric has a really nice, stunning design. It's different, you know, it is a wagon-ish, CUV, SUV, kind of not 100% sure where to place it. It's big, um, you know, it's bigger than obviously just a sedan and a saloon type of uh, vehicle. Um, it's got good space, good use of space in it as well. And, you know, as I, as I said, you know, the numbers of these are finally starting to get to a, a good production and they're starting to sell. You know, I've looked at some of the numbers from Canada from last year to this year and they're triple uh, what they were at that time, even quadruple what they were. So it is starting to pick up. But again, Cadillacs aren't for everybody. They are for those people that like luxury, that like comfort, that like style. And this does offer it and much, much more. Now the Lyric is built on GM's Ultium EV platform, which is their go-to platform for all new EVs, including the new uh, Bolt that'll be coming up for 2025. It's, uh, so the Lyric has a 102 kilowatt hour battery pack. Um, and again, it's proven technology now. We've seen it in the Blazer, we see, we see it in the Silverado and others. I've tested it and it charges decently and it gets good range. So I think it's a really capable um, platform for these vehicles. and. Um, really, the purpose of this video is just to look at kind of what's new on the Lyric, how it's doing, and to see what some real range that I'm getting. Sticking with the um, power that's delivered from this vehicle, the all-wheel drive version has 500 horsepower, um, and the rear-wheel drive single motor has 340 uh, horsepower, so more than enough to get you going on that. Um, EPA rated ranges are about 505 kilometers on the single motor. This uh, vehicle that I have, the all-wheel drive, um, is rated for 494 and I'll let you know a little bit later on what I'm seeing from a real world perspective in this nicer weather. But definitely a nice solid platform. And if we look at charging capabilities, the both models of the Lyric or variants uh, offer a level two charge rates of up to 19.2 kilowatts, and that's quite high. There's not a lot of organizations and OEMs that are offering that today. So if with the right charger installed, you can pull quite a lot of, uh, of power in, in level two in your home, as an example. So that's pretty good. Uh, for fast charging, they support up to 190 kilowatts. Um, again, GM doesn't, uh, doesn't give 10 to 80 percent time frames. They say about 77 miles or let's say somewhere about 100 and something kilometers in 10 minutes. 
um, I would think that this would be this would fall into the 10 to 80 percent range or 20 to 80 percent in about 30 minutes or so 35 minutes I would say because it's a little bit bigger battery pack it's probably going to you know take you that 30 minutes but definitely a very capable machine from both power delivery um, and uh, and charging capabilities to get you um, you know on the road and keep you going. So the interior of the Lyric, of course, is luxury and Cadillac. And some of the new things for 2024 include the uh, panoramic power opening sunroof with the power sun shades available in some models. They have some new uh, in exterior colors and wheels and black painted roof. Uh, so a lot of different options are available for the 2024 year, including adaptive headlights, um, a different security system, uh, and some tech and sport trims as well. Interior is very nice with an Apple leather package as well that's available. Um, but certainly what comes is uh, the you know power door handles. Uh, the stunning 33 inch diagonal uh, advanced LED display is really nice. Um, it's very, very nice on the Cadillac. And it has a whole gamut of colors. I'm not gonna go into all the details, but very, very nice. Uh, lots of stuff for the infotainment experience, including Google built in. You've got super cruise capabilities on these vehicles. Um, and of course, a really nice AKG Studio 19 speaker audio system available on some of the trims. So the interior is well appointed, very comfortable, nice seats, easy to find um, seating and comfortable. And, and you know, uh, for especially for long trips, I drove this uh, fairly lengthy wise. I put I think about a thousand kilometers on this because I went to Windsor, Ontario and back. So spent, you know, a good uh, six hours, six, seven hours driving this vehicle on one trip and very comfortable, very relaxing, nice, solid driving experience, a comfortable ride. You can change a couple of the settings, but not a whole lot as far as ride goes. Cadillacs are comfortable, handles really well and is very quiet. And that's really what makes this vehicle um, kind of at the top of the EV game is are those types of uh, elements being very quiet, being very comfortable and extremely capable, all while just wrapping you in this nice luxurious treatment. So as you saw in my, if you watch my detailed review from a couple of years ago, very, very uh, extremely pleased with the Lyric and, and its drivability. It's a very comfortable car, very quiet, just overall really nice experience. And you would expect that from a Cadillac. So this 2024 version keeps all that in play, uh, has a nice plush suspension, yet you can still feel the road. A couple settings for the steering to make it a little stiffer, a little lighter, depending on what your preference is. And you know, good visibility all around. You sit up high, have a nice uh, view of the roadway and of everything around. You know, for my driving, I, it's been really, really nice. Um, actually, I put some mileage on this vehicle this week um, going to Windsor and back, and I'm, I've done over, well over 800 kilometers with a highway efficiency of about 4.2 kilometers per kilowatt hours. And I'll put on the screen here what that is in kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers because it's a little bit different number. Um, but in the city, I was getting 5.2, 5.4, uh, in the initial couple of days of just city driving. So, and I'll, again, I'll put that number, what that equates to. And that's pretty good for a vehicle of this size. Again, this isn't small vehicle. It's roomy, it's comfy for four, five for sure. It's got some cargo space. Um, so they've done a really nice job. Er ergonomically, everything's nice and easy. Coffee cup, you know, your drink cups, everything to reach is nice. Um, I like the physical controls for HVAC, of course, uh, very easy to reach. So as far as the way the vehicle drives, it handles, it's extremely pleasant and very nice. I was actually even able to park it in my garage. And you've seen my videos where I try to park uh, both cars in and sometimes it's a bit of a tight fit. I was able to get this in and still have some room to spare. So definitely a vehicle that if you're looking for this luxury vehicle with lots of power, this is the all wheel drive version, has plenty of get up and go. Um, yet you can keep it tame if you'd like. Um, just an overall great job that Cadillac has done in maintaining a really nice ride, comfort level, and lots of appointments to keep you and passengers happy. Pricing for the Cadillac Lyric here in Canada starts at just over $68,000, that's MSRP base. My tester was just over $95,000. Lots of different trims, lots of option packages that you can add onto this in typical Cadillac fashion. So you can really customize this vehicle to exactly the way you like it from a colors and from a technology and all these different upgrades and features that are available. It is a truly a nice vehicle. 
uh, priced as a Cadillac in this luxury market space. Definitely a great choice for the luxury EV market space. Thank you.